Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel, it's Son of a Gun Gourmet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make fish croquettes. I'll be using trout, which I filleted in a previous video. If you haven't seen that one yet, be sure to check it out. And if you don't have trout, most other fish work with this recipe. I hope you enjoy the video, and remember to like, subscribe, and let's start cooking. Start by laying your fish out on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Season it with salt and drizzle a little bit of olive oil over top. Bake your fish in the oven until it's just cooked through. While your trout is cooking, you can prepare your vegetables. I'm using a basic mirepoix with some herbs but fennel also goes really nicely in the mix too. In case you haven't heard the term mirepoix before, all it means is onion, carrot, and celery. And it's technically supposed to be two part onion, one part carrot, one part celery. Get a nice fine dice on all your vegetables so you don't get any big pieces in the croquettes. Once the trout is cooked, leave it off to the side to let it cool at room temperature. If you wanted to work on your knife skills while making something delicious, this is a great recipe for that. Pick all the time and give it a fine chop. Do the same thing with a couple sprigs of dill. In a hot pan, add olive oil and begin to sweat off your mirepoix. Cook the vegetables until they're just tender, then season with salt and add your herbs. Just let the herbs mix in and then take it off the heat. In a mixing bowl, mix your mirepoix with your fish. Try not to mash the fish, you want some chunks for texture. Add one egg and mix that in as well. Next you're going to add just enough panko so that you could form the mix into pucks that won't fall apart. Make sure that you're happy with the seasoning at this point. Now you're going to form your croquettes. This recipe should yield you between eight to 10 pieces. Next thing you're going to do is set up a breading station. For that, you're going to need panko, egg wash, and flour. I thin out my egg with a little bit of water so I don't have to use more than one egg. For each croquette, you're going to fully coat it in flour, then egg, then panko. You want to make sure that you get a full even coating on each of the croquettes or they might break apart while you're frying them. Use one hand for dry and the other for wet so you don't end up breading yourself in the process. Just take your time, make sure the breading's on them nice and even and they'll turn out beautifully. Fill a deep frying pan with an inch of vegetable oil and heat it up on medium heat. Once the oil's hot, carefully place the croquettes into the pan, not overcrowding it. Fry them for about three minutes per side or until they turn golden brown. Once they're done, place them onto a paper towel so it could absorb any of the grease and season them with salt. 
These could be a great finger food for a party, or you could serve it with a side of salad, and it's a meal in itself. They really go great with the homemade lemon dill aioli that I made in one of my other videos, and I'd recommend giving that one a watch if you haven't yet. I hope you have fun making your own fish croquettes at home, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep on cooking.